Hello and welcome to our channel where we discuss books and summarize their content. In this video, we will be discussing Chapter 5 of the book Hidden Figures by Margot Lee Shetterly. Chapter 5 is titled Manifest Destiny. This chapter discusses the changing role of Langley Memorial Aeronautical Laboratory during World War II. And how it became the Center for Aviation Research in the United States. Before World War II, Langley Memorial Aeronautical Laboratory was a small institution focused on research and development of aircraft. However, the outbreak of World War II changed the situation drastically. The United States had entered the war, and the military had a pressing need for faster and more advanced aircraft. Chapter 5 discusses the change in focus of Langley Memorial Aeronautical Laboratory during the war. The laboratory began working on developing airplanes and providing technical support to the military. This marked a significant shift in the laboratory's focus, and it soon became the center for aviation research in the United States. One of the key figures in this chapter is Robert R. Gilruth, who was a researcher at Langley. Gilruth was responsible for developing the first flight simulator, which became a crucial tool for training pilots. The simulator was a significant development in aviation research, and its impact can still be felt today. Another important aspect discussed in this chapter is the role of women in aviation research during the war. Women played a vital role in aviation research and development, but their contributions were often overlooked. One of the notable women mentioned in this chapter is Mary Winston Jackson, who was an African-American mathematician and aerospace engineer. Jackson made significant contributions to the development of aircraft and was one of the first African-American women to work at Langley. In conclusion, Chapter 5 of Hidden Figures highlights the changing role of Langley Memorial Aeronautical Laboratory during World War II and how it became the center for aviation research in the United States. It also sheds light on the contributions of women in aviation research, which were often overlooked. Robert R. Gilruth's contribution to the development of the first flight simulator was also discussed in this chapter. We hope you found this summary informative and interesting. Thank you for watching.